with bond markets this year, how have they played out so far and what is in store for the rest of the year. Joining me to discuss is Mirko Visco. Mirko, welcome. Good morning, Jessica. So this is the first time you've been back in the studios in 2015. So how have the markets played out so far? Well, it, depending where you are investing in the, um, in the bond market. Uh, if, if you look at the performance of the US Treasury, the US government bond, the European government bonds, they have been uh, performing negatively a little bit more for the US uh, dollar than the euro ones. If you in were invested in investment grades as well, you were having negative performance. If you were investing in high yield, if you were investing in emerging market bonds, then you were recording a positive performance of around 3%. Um, this is quite uh, a normal performance. It's not a surprise. Um, main reason is that yields have been so low for, for such a long time. The five-year bond, uh, German bonds were trading at zero, even negatively at a certain time. So it's natural that at a certain time, the, the yield has to uh, move a bit higher and the performance of these bonds has to be on, on the negative territory. Great. So Janet Yellen said that bond yields could see a sharp jump when the Fed introduced the raise the benchmark rates this year. So what could this mean for the markets? Um, I'm not sure that all the, the curve will, uh, will rise that much. Um, I think that um, if we look at the past history, when in 1994, in 2004, the Fed um, uh, increased the interest rates, we rather experienced a flattening of the curve, where the two years bonds move much higher than the 10 years. There is another element as well. There is an oversupply of money uh, that is around the market, and people are ex probably going to believe that the US dollar strengths may compensate part of the depreciation related to the um, rising of uh, the five-year or the 10-year bonds. So in, 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 in general, uh, I think investors should not be worried about uh, the move of the, the, the US curve. Uh, I would eventually look at how to adjust the asset allocation. Uh, probably risk will increase, volatility will increase in the market. People ha will have to think of different strategies. Um, and how, how to hedge the, 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 the portfolios. The dollar has been a good hedge of uh, the portfolio, um, but people will eventually have to think of different strategies like convertible bonds or like uh, increasing their allocation into the real estate as a compensation or as an alternative to the fixed, to the fixed income markets. And slow economic growth and lowering of bond yields is something that we have seen in Europe and Japan at the moment. Um, is this set to continue in the rest of the year? Uh, definitely yes, but the situation of Japan is a bit different than the European ones. Uh, in Japan, um, people have been um, paid for not investing for 15 years because of the deflation. So it will take a lot of time to change people's mentality, to change investors' mentality. I think the Bank of Japan will need to intervene on a regular basis in the market to bring uh, assets uh, to a higher level and to push people to um, invest uh, in, the, in the stock market in general. In Europe, it's a different uh, situation. There is a set program of purchase by the central bank, um, and it's going to last until September 2016. If we were to take the accumulation of purchases that will come during 2015, uh, the ECB will reduce the supply of government bonds, being German, Italian, uh, um, French, Spanish bonds by more than 200 billion euros for the, for the full year 2015. And this is not including the action that the Danish central bank may take, the action that the Norwegian central bank or the Swiss central banks may take. So I think overall, because naturally you have a buyer and the buyer will buy these uh, government bonds, the yields will go slightly lower. The spreads for the peripheral uh, countries will tighten a little bit further. There might be short-term correction like the Greek will need to uh, negotiate with the IMF, like eventually sp the Spanish election at the end of the year. But I think over the medium term, um, the yield will keep being lower and lower. Uh, that there is another effect as well of the lower yields, is that it has a positive impact on the budget of these countries, because simply the service of debt is dramatically reduced. So in, if you add the local measures of uh, reduction of uh, deficit, I think a lot of the countries will be able to match the Maastricht uh, target by 2015. So in summary, uh, uh, I'm positive on the Europe, European bond market, I'm even more positive on the high yield bonds that will be the one really benefiting from these, uh, from these interventions. 
Well, Mirka, thank you so much for coming in today. As always, it was a pleasure to have you here in the studios. Thank you so much, Jessica. Well, that's all that we have time for today. But for further updates and interviews, do check out the Jugoscopy website. Goodbye for now.